always how they tantalize. Why, every move's a big surprise. Ain't that nice? You're the kind of a man that I've been needing. You're just a eel for my garden of Eden. Say you're my heaven and you're my all. No, no one, one else could ever make me fall. You're, you're my future chain and ball. Ain't a bad This evening, Timus, I desire that you takes me to Mrs. Heron's residence, where I spends the night. And after you deposits me at Mrs. Heron's residence, you can take the night off and do as you so desire. Oh, Miss Miss Neely, that's so kind of you. I certainly appreciate your extreme graciousness. Oh, not at all, Timus. You has been a loyal servant, and we of the elite like to express our appreciation of swell service. Oh, Miss Miss Neely. <laughs> Does it?
Doggone, Timus, you sure looking for a boy? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse, excuse me, boss. Yes, yes, excuse me. Boy, drive me to the sons and daughters of the I Will Arise. Yes, yes, sir. I got a surprise for you, ladies. Miss Heron and Miss Mezzanine Connors has just arrived. Ain't that grand? Here she comes now. Mm, don't she look gorgeous? She sure do. Oh, how to do? How to do? I show is gratified, Miss Mezzanine, to know that you's going to be with us this evening. Oh, but how did you know I was going to be here? Why, I see your car outside and your show. Who, Timus Robinson? Yes, ma'am, Timus himself. Excuse me a minute, won't you please? Why, certainly, certainly. Very back. Yes, I will, honey. Hi. Why, no, uh, Eli Rob, don't you lie to me. What y'all mean by busting in my yard this way? Where, where is Timus? Why, well, what's Timus done, boy? Anything wrong? Tell me. Tell me. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with I and Timus, Brother Connor. E Eli Rob, you tell me what's wrong for I exterminate you on the spot. Uh, ain't nothing wrong except with your limousine. With my limousine? Yes, and nothing except me sort of wrecked. Lordy, lordy, my limousine wrecked? Tell me, was Timus hurt? 
Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Timus ain't hurt one teeny little bit. You ain't got no call to worry none about Timus. Was there anyone in that car that was hurt? Uh, she was sort of, sir. She was? So there was a woman, eh? Was she hurt bad? I reckon she's sort of dead, Brother S Connor. Sort of dead? Eli, whoop! You tell me who that woman is before I slay you on this spot. I ain't gonna lie to you, Brother Connor, because you was gonna find out anyway. Well, tell me. Tell me quick. It's for nobody in that car that didn't have no business in there except your daughter, Mezzanine. Oh, Lord, my daughter? My darling, Mezzanine? Eli Rubb, tell me is my daughter dead. But she didn't suffer none, Brother oh, Connor. Oh, she's a... Yeah, you give up. Rush her on that garage. Get that ribbon and bring it back here. Take me out to where my daughter is. Ah. Man, what you mean scaring me like that? Listen, is that the truth you was telling Mr. Connors? Is my Mezzanine show sure enough dead? I didn't know she was your mezzanine too, but she's shown up dead. Oh, my poor mezzanine. But Timus, if there's any satisfaction to you, she was still thinking was you driving when she tipped over. Because the last thing she thought she saw was what she took to be the back of your head. You say it happened out on the Oxmoor Road? Yeah, man, right at the top of the hill there. And man, she sure tip put it. Well, let me tell you something, big boy. If you craves to live to have plenty of grandchildren, you stall off that old man till I gets out there to the scene of the disaster. I'll get a car and go right out. I know how much I love you. and be sort me because I bust up your limousine and, and spoils your new dress. Oh, no, Timus. Gowns and cars don't mean nothing to me besides you. Oh, but, M Mezzanine, baby, I, I was only a chauffeur. Uh, would you be willing to marry me and, and try to live on a chauffeur's salary? Yes, I was willing, Timus Peach. But I ask you, is you agreeable to live like my husband should and have a chauffeur your own? Well, Mezzanine, baby, for you, I, I do even that. Oh, here comes your pappy, baby. I, I hate to deceive anybody, but I, I reckon us better play dead. For what? Well, if he thinks you dead, he'll be in a better humor to listen to reason. Uh, go on, quick now, and lay down. My gracious! Oh, this show gonna be trouble here tonight. Oh, mezzanine. Baby, darling, this is your daddy. Is you dead, honey? Oh, honey, tell your daddy. Did you hurt? Baby, did you hurt much? D don't do that, boy. You know I was ticklish. Ooh, what you doing? Taking a nap or something, Timus? Oh, fool. I was unconscious. Yeah, yeah, honey. If I promise to let you promise not to die, honey? Yes, daddy. Uh.
Look here, Demas. Is you dead? Yeah, no, sir, Mr. Conner. Well, listen here. This accident done made my daughter crazy and they to marry you. And if you don't marry her right away, I'll... Yes, sir, Mr. Connors. For you, I, I was willing to do even that. Yes, sir. <laughs> Everything's chicken, honey. They are so happy. Say, Timus, when you marry Mezzanine, does our chauffeur for y'all?